Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to Onhow channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So now you know, if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to change the price color on your Shopify store. And I will show you actually how to change the price for both the compare ad price and the original price. And even though if you do not set a discounted price to the product, you will be able to change the color for the price in this video. And as I said, if you did set a discount price for the product, you will be able to set both colors for the discounted price, which is the compare ad price and the original price. And you can set a different color for each one of these. For example, the old, the old price will be in red because it's old price, it's not working anymore. And the, the one, the new one should be in blue or green or whatever the case is. So by using the single trick that I will show you in this video, you will be able to hit two birds with one stone, changing the both prices with different colors. And we will do that with one line of code. And yes, you heard that right. And as I said in the beginning, even though if you did not set a discounted price, you can set the regular price color any color you want and I get requested this video a lot actually lately I think more um, uh, two or three people they did request me with this video that's why I'm making this video right now so again if you have any video requests any questions drop me a comment below I will be happy to make a video just like this one you are watching right now and without any more talking let's just jump to it but before we start as always this Shopify store that you see right now on the screen in front of me is the one I will do demonstration on and not just this one I made over 90 videos when it comes to customizing your Shopify store and all of them I did them in this Shopify store. As you can see the Shopify right here this uh, video banner sorry with the transparent header with the video is actually playing underneath the header as well as the hover effect and uh, uh, removing the underline from the menu once you hover over them it does show an underline beneath each menu. I did make a video on how to remove that. All the small little things that you cannot do from the team customizer, I did make videos on how to do that and I do share the code completely free in the description box. And one of the best things I did show in my previous videos is this one right here, the discounted percentage on the product picture as you can see. So originally this badge right here, it says sale on it. If you did set a discounted price in here, uh, the, this bat right here will say sell it will be displaying him sell and in one of my previous videos I did show how to change that sell text to any text you want you can set it as discounted price or limited time offer or any call to action you want however I got the idea that I should actually display here the percentage for the discount and this percentage right here you will not be set it for each product manually actually this will be calculated automatically for each discount for each product as well for example this one is the discount for it is two dollars as you can see so that's why it's showing here only four percent off and this one right here the discount for it is more than thirty dollars that's why it's showing here thirty percent off and the same for this other one as well so you don't have to set each product with a percentage based on the discount no, that will actually be calculated automatically. You don't have to do that for each product. And the best thing about this trick is we did that without using any apps or anything like that. With our very short code that will do the trick for us. It's actually like five lines of code that will do this. It's really cool, yeah. And it will not affect the loading time of your Shopify store. So if you are interested in how to implement this on your Shopify store or any of the things that you see right now, as you can see a lot of things I did show on my channel, Make sure to check out my channel and every code as I said I do provide the link for it in the description box and if you are wondering why I'm doing so well just like the banner says just like please that's the only thing I'm asking for and I apologize I talk too much about the things I do so let's just quit talking and let's just get to it but before we start again if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button I would really appreciate it so obviously as I said we will change this right here uh, let's just access this product for example so in here it will be uh, a red color or whatever color you want to set it as and this one will be a different color as well and even though if you did not set a discount for the product you will be able to change the color for the price for it as well so we will stay on this page right here and we will do the trick and come back in here and see the changes so obviously let's just keep this open and let's just access Shopify dashboard 
After that, click on the online store from the left menu, then click on the three dots on left of customize right here and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. The next thing you're going to do is click on the assets folder right here and scroll down a little bit and you will see the first file in here should be base.css or team.css. And as always, if you cannot find base.css, it should be team.css. In my case, it's base.css. So I'm going to simply click on it and it will show me a lot of CSS code in here. Then the next thing you're going to do is uh, scroll all the way down to the bundle page. Let me drag this down because it's a pretty big file. And here we go. After that, the next thing you're going to do again is as always scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code and simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see a very short call that will do the trick of changing both actually the discounted price which is the compare out price and the regular price. So obviously the next thing you're going to do is select the whole code in here and you can see it says here color two dots and there is a hex color in here and we will change that as well for each price in there. So let's just select the whole code in here make sure to include this uh, closing brackets right here right click and copy after that get back to the code editor right here and simply paste it at the bottom of the file so let's just paste it in here and this one is the color for the old price which is the compare out price let's just copy the code and after that it just open up google search engine and paste it in here it will show us this widget right here so this is actually the new price here the blue i think uh last year this is the the new actually price this is the discounted price and this one is it uh, should be red which is the old price let's just paste it in here to check out the color if it's red yeah it is so obviously play around with this widget right here until you get the color that you want and copy it from the hex color right here simply copy it and replace it with each one of these as i said the first one is for the new price or the discounted price and the old one the last one and the one at the bottom is for the old price so let's just click on the save button right here and see the changes so let's just get back to the product page right here reload the page and this one should be blue and the old one which is the crossed price right here should be red so let's just reload the page and here we go just like i said as you can see so this is the new price which is the blue and the old price is the red and for example if you do not want to change the color for one of these you only want the new price to be in a different color this one is the it stays the black as the original color simply remove the second line in here for example if i did remove this one the the discounted price this one right here the red will be as the original which is black so let's just do that and just remove this simply select the line in here uh, as well as the closing bracket remove it and click on save and after that the only color that will be changed is for the new price which is blue so let's just reload the page and here we go as you can see this one is get back to the previous version which is black and the new one is blue and as i said this trick will work for every product even if you did not set a discounted price for it so that's how you change the price color on your Shopify store for both actually compare out price and the regular price. And as I said, if you have any video requests or any questions, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. Otherwise, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.